Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us this Ergotron HX desk monitor arm with HD Pivot. Ultrawide monitors are taking the market by storm, and with it, the growing need for a sturdy, movable and easy to mount stand to complete the ultimate setup is quickly becoming apparent. Most monitors do come with desk stands that do the job just fine, but the ideal situation that you might not have considered is having a completely adjustable arm that literally suspends your new display in practically any position you see fit. Well here it is, the Ergotron HX desk mounted monitor arm. Showing its full strength here, it easily supports monitors like the Samsung Odyssey G9, keeping even the largest monitors within perfect view while freeing up your desk space at the same time. Taking it out of the box, it starts off looking complicated, but it's much easier to set up than you think. Inside the box, you get four parts to the stand, plus everything you need to mount the monitor in place, like the various screw types for mounting and the tools you'll need to fit it. The instructions are very self-explanatory, with easy-to-follow picture instructions and handy do's and don'ts. Picking up the parts, they feel very weighty and feel like they're made from strong materials, enough to withstand a lot of weight. Now, it does support screens as heavy as 19.1 kilograms, which is great considering that it's specially designed for 49-inch curved monitors just like this one. The beauty of modern technology is that there's plenty of helpful advice on the website too. You can watch step-by-step -step video instructions for installation and features, as well as downloading the supporting material from the product page on their website if you're struggling. One of the things that I like about this monitor arm is that it doesn't require drilling into any surfaces or walls. The bottom of the stand utilizes a large clamp that fits onto a variety of desk widths, even this thick standing desk that I have here. You start by adjusting the width of the clamp to best fit your desk, before tightening it underneath so it's firmly in place. The base supporting arm just slots into the top of the clamping base before tightening the small screws that are already fitted. The top part of the arm fits into place the same way, and once you've tightened all the little screws here as well, it's ready to mount the monitor just like that. Just taking the stand from the Samsung G9 and placing it beside the HX, it's clear to see how much surface space you're already saving. When it comes to mounting the monitor, the mounting plate uses a standard MIS Class D baser with two hole pattern sizes, one 100 by 100 millimeter and the other 75 by 75 millimeters. Now it's best to check the specifications on the monitor first to ensure that it's the right size, but generally most monitors use these standard size mounts. Fitting it into the back using the screws provided, it's as simple as hooking the mount onto the end of the arm and securing it into place with the remaining screws. The only time consuming step out of the whole process is levelling the monitor. Depending on the weight of the monitor and your desired height, you'll have to adjust the tightness of the screws along the joints of the arm to keep it firmly in place. Now I wanted it to be tight enough to hold it up to its full height, while also maintaining movement to move it back and forth. Now it takes a few tries, but it is easy enough to do by yourself and only takes a few minutes. Cable tidy wise, there's a good amount of fixtures to help maintain that minimal look. Underneath the top half, you'll find a few Velcro strips for gathering cables before feeding them into the cutout on the bottom half of the stand, which is also covered by a hidden panel. One thing I didn't notice until I'd mounted the monitor onto the stand is the placement. Best thing to do before getting started is measuring your space and figuring out how you want the monitor to sit on the desk. The stand itself doesn't really position the monitor far back enough when it's placed in its standard forward position, requiring you to collapse the stand into an almost folded position so you you can place it at a comfortable distance away. Now it's not overly important as I managed to place it to the side when making room for the PC tower, but I probably would have originally mounted it to the side if I planned on keeping the monitor in a more central position. Now everything's in place, the impact of the overall look is outstanding. We have the stand in black with us to try out, but it does also come in white too, easily blending into the most standard desk colours as more of an extension to the setup. I'm impressed with how well it holds such a heavy oversized monitor. Once it's in place, it stays there. There's no worry of instability, it's built to hold heavy monitors like this, and it's specially engineered to hold it exactly where you need it, giving complete control like no other. Depending on how tight the screws are, the movements are incredibly smooth. I didn't find it awkward to push it back and forward, though the size of the monitor itself is quite cumbersome to manoeuvre. Interestingly, it does have full 360 rotation, 180 degree pan, and 20 degree tilt either way. Of course, wires do restrict how much you can adjust it from its usual position, but the overall fluidity of the arm is much more extensive than your usual static mount. It moves backwards, forwards, up and down, so it's generally very flexible, moving it around your setup as you change activities and offering just that little extra space when you need it. Though I didn't find a direct use for it, you can also bring the stand right down to desk level, but mostly I like to keep it just above eye level when sitting down, which was about 29 centimeters above the desk at full height. Keeping it raised up was hugely beneficial for me. I had enough room for my keyboard and mouse, but also anything else that I needed like office supplies, decorations, and even a laptop for a second screen. Now it's nice taking back control of my desk space. 
losing any of those annoying stand legs that I often have to work around. Overall, I can honestly say that this stand does a stellar job of holding up ultra-wide monitors. It might be a little more than you'd want to spend, but this is by no means a standard monitor mount. Its ridiculously fluid motion holds it in place exactly where I need it, freeing you from the restrictions of a fixed stand. It does give the illusion that the monitor is suspended unsupported, and it practically moves that way with the ability to push it in any direction and stay in place. It may be a little fiddly to get the weight ratio perfect for leveling, but it's totally worth it for the overall effect. Mainly though, it's good for space saving letting you maneuver large monitors with ease for a truly adaptive work and play environment. So what are your thoughts on the Ergotron HX? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to Box where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.